Hey, it's Craig back with you in the sports cabin on this Tuesday, and it's been a full week since the election. Let's bring the election signs down, and I saw Bernie Sanders' bumper sticker. It's probably time to peel that one off, too. I think of all the places I've been to over the years, and honestly, I think this might have been an all-time low for those election signs. Maybe I just wasn't looking in the right place, but those signs are clearly old school, and TV, we all know, is the way to go, door-to-door -door used to work. Now the candidates are afraid to go out after dark, and quite frankly, I don't blame them. Signs at the U of H should stay up. You know the ones that say Tom Herman should stay, but I believe he's going to be heading out on the next five-year multi-million dollar contract. That two-lane game had the Cougs winning, but not many saw it in person. You can't just stay away because you had a couple of losses to Navy and SMU. After all, it's been a good season, and this Thursday, I know all the fans will be back at the stadium, but mostly to see the Lamar Jackson character. The guy from Louisville, well, it could be a fight, you know, Jackson versus Ward, but I think it's going to be a knockout in the wrong direction. Hey, how about Texas head coach Bill O'Brien wasn't asked one question about his quarterback yesterday at the Monday uh, news uh, newser. I, I must have missed the part where someone on the current staff just came right out and said, you know, I think Brock's doing great. Well, the team is clearly the worst 6-3 team in the league, and most of the national guys are still making fun of the Texans. Trip to Mexico City is next. I got to think the Raiders are going to be smart enough not to drink the water at the venue. I'm not quite sure about the Texans, at least not yet. As for you Cowboys and you Cowboy fans, I have solved your problem in advance. Here's how you solve the Tony Romo deal. When the Cowboys get to be 12-1 and one, or even maybe 11-2, and two, you don't want to risk Dak getting hurt, so you sit him down, you rest him, you've already got home field advantage, you get Tony some reps, he feels better about himself, and then when the real deal starts, the playoffs, you put the super rook back in. I knew I could solve it. You're welcome, Jerry. This is Craig Roberts on Click2Houston.com.